Uh, Pink Panther before we go to break. Oh, right. This is Jimmy's birthday present today. <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah, we're not fans of the uh, the remake of the Brilliant Comedies on this show. Not not at all. No. They remade The In-Laws. They remade uh, Pink Panther movies. They remade uh, Bad News Bears. Honeymooners. No, Honey they tried to stick black people in on they sort white of did, people's roles. They, they tried to do the Caddyshack yep. thing, I mm. believe. Uh, yeah, Who's Your Caddy. Was it called Who's Your Caddy? Yeah, and it was pretty much black Caddyshack. Mm -hmm. So Steve Martin is really guilty remaking a Peter Sellers movie. This is just unbelievable. He's a fucking dick for doing it. And he stinks at it. I can he's see he was so funny, but he's bad terrible. You yeah, there what? could probably be an actor that could have pulled it off. I'm, I, I don't know who or what, but you would have gone like, all right, it's not Peter Sellers, but it doesn't suck. And he's trying it, whatever. Because Peter Sellers, just his timing was amazing. He's just like really just a funny guy. Mm -hmm. And Steve Martin sucks. Here's the problem. It made a lot of money. And he's making another one. Making another so one. Talk out our asses all day long. All right. Why are, why are, why I thought are, that was our jobs. <laughs> why are people buying into this shit? You know who else made a lot of money? Pablo Escobar. But I don't want to see him remaking a Sellers movie. <laughs> well, he probably couldn't do any worse. <laughs> El Padrino could not have done any worse than fucking Padrino. that fucking fruit and his dumb white leg. Boy, am I tired of him. The hamburger. Uh, no, the hamburger. I'm hamburger. Shut up. I am the oh. thief. I've stolen the role. Uh huh. <laughs> the thief. What? What are you saying? The thief? No, I am the thief. The thief. Yes. I have dug up Peter Sellers. Oh, you mean thief? Yes. That's... I have stolen what was once funny and removed the humor. Oh, oh, a thief. Is that what you said? Yes. <laughs> the thief. <laughs> what, you think I don't know? Of course he that does. I ran out of steam uh, <laughs> before I, I went anywhere with I had no steam to run out of. <laughs> uh, perfect, though, because the clips we're about to play oh. just as bad, if not worse, my friends. Steve Martin trains his sidekick. <laughs> this ought to be uh, funny. What, what's he trying to do? Use wig glue? <laughs> Put on your Here's how to glue ass. on a Here's how to glue on a wig properly. <laughs> or how to do shitty movies and still walk around with your head up. <laughs> I am going to be frank. Since you are only a detective second class, your senses may not be as sharp as my own. And as I do not want a partner who makes me Della, I have come up with a plan to keep you as sharp as possible. And what is that? Intermittently and without warning, I will attack you whenever and wherever it is least expected. In this way, I will keep you vigilant and alert. Agreed? Yes. Good one. Thank you. How does this guy sleep at night? Are they, um... Can you imagine if Peter Sellers was still alive? Was that the first run through with his accent? Because he, he loses the accent, it, right? That, I heard that too. Loses it. He never had it. That was that was horrible. Yeah. <laughs> wow. How does he sleep at night, man? <laughs> what the fuck? Hopefully he fucking watches his own movies and they put him <laughs> to sleep the way they do when I watch him. <laughs> Boo. Oh, Cheaper by the dozen. <sighs> Who's the other one in it? Eugene Levy? I've had enough of him too. Oh, another unfunny fucking... Holy shit. They put him in everything because he was in American Pie. Exactly. Enough with that one, too. We, I mean, it's not a bad movie, but fuck it. All right. Oof. We're up to like 10 or 12 of those now. Now they just go straight to video. Yeah. You know what I saw one straight to video last night? That Up the Creek. You watched that? No. Oh. No, but there's another oh, one, God, Up the man. Creek 2. And I like when they can't get the original cast. That wasn't even, you know, well, who was it? It's our, it's our buddies, so... I is it Stifler? Bash it. Yeah. It is Stifler? Stifler was in that, and what's his name? Uh, oh. Yeah. Oh, and we called him out we on called it. called him out And he goes, it. oh, it made $200 million. Okay, right. well, he, was, he was not having it. Well, then, I'm like, come on, have some fun. You Seth made a bomb. Green. Well, then do the sequel, motherfucker. <laughs> Dude, we had Seth Green, and we liked the guy a lot. I love Robot Chicken. I like a lot of the stuff he does, and we're like... 
we were kind of feeling it. We're like, oh, that up the creek. And, man, did he get defensive. Well, we asked him if there was anything that he did that he, you know, was like, man. Eh, huh. Right. And I don't know if he came up with anything, but I said, how about that up the creek? Yeah. And he was like, well, that made a lot of money. It was this. Uh, but, yeah. see, they got to think that it, it wasn't good. But no. I guess that's how they justify. Look, it made a lot of money. Now yeah. it's up the creek, too. It, it released straight to video. I love those straight to video ones. It's like, yes, yeah, being released on Blu-ray next week. And you're like, I, I didn't uh, see this in the movie. <laughs> I don't remember, I don't seeing, remember seeing a trailer for this one. <laughs> That's a good point. <laughs> but it's cool just to say being uh, released on Blu-ray. Yes. Being released on all the game systems. <laughs> Here's uh, Steve Martin. Ugh. He meets Beyonce. Uh -huh. And then he farts. Wait, this is part one. Is it? Maybe, maybe she's in this one. Maybe he no. does it again. He met Beyonce and then farted in the music studio. Oh, oh, E Rock, E Rock. We wanted the clips from uh, the new movie. If you, if if E Rock. Oh, boy. oh boy. Bare bottom spanking. Not from me. <laughs> Doesn't get spanking with my sh put, put crushed glass on my shoe. E Rock. E Rock. Is this clips from the new movie? I didn't pull these. Who did? Who did? I don't know, but I didn't do the Pink Panther ones. Oh, who yeah. did? This is a mystery. This is a mystery. Wow, were you reading some emails last night, Mr. Pass the Buck? <laughs> <laughs> it's a mystery, yes, yeah, just like the Pink Panther. It certainly is a mystery. Who pulls these clips? Let's bring uh, Sam in. Ah, Sam. Sam. I pulled these clips weeks ago when Steve told me to pull clips from the Pink Panther movie. Which movie? The Pink Panther movie. He said the Pink Panther. <laughs> so it was just this, this the part Pink one. Panther part yeah. one. Yes. You were not told to pull from no. the new movie. All right. The buck has now been passed to Steve. Steve, if you would step up to the microphone and please address the crowd. Yeah, the whole bit is we want new clips because we already went over the old clips. Yeah. Right. We were told he was told to pull clips from both movies, actually. And I don't know why that was not followed. Oh, he's Back calling you out. And Sam. remember, Sam, you're on the radio, so you can't get in trouble. Both oh. clip, uh, both movies you were supposed to pull clips yeah. from. You were told yeah, by yeah. Steve both CD? movies. What? Let me see the CD. Let me see the playlist or whatever. Uh -oh. Because, oh no, is there uh, clips from one and two on here? Is it Opie's? No, pulse? that's what I thought. He asked me to pull clips from the Pink Panther movie, not movies. Uh. Oh shit! And so I pulled. It. I wouldn't have just pulled from part one if you had said part one and two. When I know it, what the bit was. I heard the instructions oh, and I got them. Steve. Oh damn! All right, you got the instructions, but I didn't. So obviously, no, you got them because I told them to you. Who and gave you the instructions. Jimmy did. <laughs> Sam. Oh. And so I just decided, ah, Steve told me part one and two, but I'll just do part one because the guys won't notice. You better fight back, Sam. You're up for a big raise. You don't want to yeah. look bad in front of the boss's eyes. When in, in my history with this show have I ever been given instructions then specifically not followed them? Oh, snap. Wow. I always follow That's the instructions. That's a good instructions. one. The Pink Panther. Answer that. I have an answer. Answer that. The, answer that. It's got a good record. The Pink Panther incident? Yeah. <laughs> I was just about to say the Pink Panther incident. Thank you, Jim. Uh, oh, no. Um, the Blue mm. Chip Kid coming in with the instant feedback. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Oh, you did not fall for that. Uh, Sam? No, I was asked to get clips from the Pink Panther movie. You asked me to kiss a guy. I kissed a guy. You Ah, oh. uh, no, more right. than a guy. Hang on. You kiss many guys. Here's Which a, means you go beyond uh, what we ask you. Travis has something? Yeah. Here's an email from November 11th. Yes. Oh, shit. From Steve. Yes. Titled Wednesday. It's our daily email. Okay. Need to get clips from the first Pink Panther remake, parentheses, Sam. That's it. That's it. <laughs> Steve, comment on that email. Comment. That email came from me. Oh. Uh, oh, yeah. damn. Wow. You okay. just got pwned. So what were you saying, Steve? <laughs> I think I'm owed an apology. You might be, but I'm not going to give one to you. Oh. Um, oh. oh. So uh, the mystery has been solved through an email. Uh, it said the first movie. Yeah. Actually, you know what? Um, I did write that, but as far as I can recall, uh, I did tell him to get 
the two movies, and Sam at the time said, why? I thought Jim just wanted a tool on the new one. So you want the hearsay that you just uh, yeah. spoke uh, put in the same evidence as the email that exactly. is on the record? And yeah. <laughs> exactly. I want my horseshit hearsay put in the same, <laughs> the same file as oh, the horseshit email. Oh, shit. Sam, <laughs> Sam lawyered you. Damn. Oh, yeah. Damn. You got lawyered by Sam. Sam wins. Yeah. Sam wins. Sam wins. Sam wins. Sam wins. Yes, Sam. Wins. Sam. Steve loses. <laughs> Steve. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we'll break. Uh, sure, we'll break. All right. We're trying to solve the Pink Panther uh, mystery, though. Solved. Which I think we have solved. Yes, Jim. Yes, definitely solved. solved. Cool. Mm -hmm. Well, how about we get part two? No problem. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh Want to send an email? <laughs> wow. Pink Panther. Audio the new Jimmy. from the new movie. Yes, Yay. we solved that mystery, my friend. Yeah. Inspector Clouseau is back, and he can't put a parking ticket on a car, Jimmy. <laughs> wow. wow, that's got to be hysterical. Yeah, that oh, really Clouseau. does have to be funny. Can he actually put a check in the bank, or will his fucking little bit of self-respect not allow him to do it? <laughs> he should just tear up that check and go. I can't have this stolen. He should just. <laughs> Yeah, you should just dig up Peter Sellers and fuck him in the ass while he's at it. <laughs> Why? That would be more respectful to him than what he has been doing. <laughs> Pink Panther audio for you, you Jimmy. It. Oh, yeah. It's going to sound, after that huge argument we had, it's going to sound exactly like the stuff we <laughs> yeah. could have played and got away with, by the way. Uh, Inspector Clouseau is back. Ugh. Doing another Pink Panther movie, Jimmy. Thanks, Steve uh, Martin. He's you. back! That's right. And better than <laughs> ever, he's back! Back. Uh, he's back as shitty as ever. <laughs> he's back. <laughs> were, were you ever a fan of Steve Martin? I, yeah, I, I don't. I my. I'm trying was, to think. I love the jerk. I think the his stand up to me does not hold up. But he was an innovative stand up. He was a funny on SNL. He was hilarious. I still think he was one of the funniest Oscar hosts ever. Like Steve Martin, like is a funny dude, man. You can't say he stinks. It's just I hate the fact that he's redoing comedies. It's like he got addicted to the paycheck. It's like you don't need to do that, man. You, you, you're you Steve Martin. You can pick and choose whatever the fuck you want. I think uh, it, it's been said on this show by somebody. I'm not sure. It might have been Anthony that the only time you make like a movie over is because you can enhance the look of it. I yeah. said that. No, you didn't. Um, no, it wasn't. I, I just wanted to credit. Oh. I was in an alcohol-fueled um, blackout when I said it. I'm sorry. But, <laughs> but some of these movies, you know, if you use the new technology to enhance it in that way, yeah, not so bad, maybe. Comedies, yeah. never. King Kong was a great one to remake. There you go. That's a very good example. Even from 77, technology is so much better now. It was yeah. just so well done. And you have to rely on that technology. You know what I mean? Yeah. Comedies, you take, uh, they're, they're, they're either funny or not, yeah. and, you know, come on, you, leave them you, alone, especially if they were really successful. You look at the old uh, fucking Gladiator movies from, like, the 50s and mm. stuff, and they're horrible. Then you look at Gladiator, and it, it looks amazing. Yeah. You know, that's something else. It's a, a, more of a genre than a, typical, than a single movie. But uh, that's, that's something that, yeah, you enhance it with CGI and everything else. They can remake great. Jaws. I would like to see a remake of Jaws, even though oh, you're not going to be do better oh, than the actors. Mm, that's that's a rough one. Oh, but boy. I'd be curious with the shark only, I'm saying. The shark holds up. I know a lot of people don't think so. The in the first one, you barely see it enough, that, which well, is good. That's the, the right. reason they you did it You know why, way. Anthony? I know why. Do you know why? Because it was constantly busted. And it was malfunctioning. Yes, it was which, always busted. Which pretty much made the movie in the end, but they didn't know that at the time. They were yeah. bummed out they couldn't get the shark to work. Good, they didn't have an, a lot of shark oh, footage. Right. It kept it very mysterious. Mm -hmm. yeah. But they didn't know that. Chrissy with a big hairy fucking bush <laughs> in the bush. water. Yeah. Underneath, she's like moving her legs and you just see a big hairy fucking lure for that, for that shark. <laughs> thought it was <laughs> thought it was a sea bass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's flossing for a month, <laughs> picking hairs out of his shark teeth with his fins. <laughs> yeah, he had to use Quint's leg to pick his teeth clean. <laughs> yeah. Here we go, Pink Panther, the uh, the second movie, because you know the first one was so terrific. The world's greatest detective isn't what he used to be. Oh, you can true. fucking say that again. <laughs> That's the most <laughs> honest line I've yes. ever heard in a movie trailer. <laughs> the world's <laughs> he's an asshole. Yes. Instead of greatest detective, it could be the world's biggest dick. <laughs> I can detect. Yeah. But isn't the concept of the movie that he was never sharp? Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. 
Yeah. So he's yeah. now n not like he used to be, but yeah. the whole premise is that he's a dope. The so world's more of a dope. Yeah. Used to be. Clearly a violation. Stop this guy immediately. Uh, Sam, help us out with the visual there. There's What's happening of, besides yeah. nothing humorous? Yeah. Oh, God. Well, it was actually, it was because he had a, he was, he's in his uniform, and there's a car that's illegally parked, and he knows that because he's got a tape measure. And so ah. he's being a stickler. Of course he is. And he's trying to get the, the ticket on the windshield. <laughs> that's all. He's, yeah. He, but the guy, windshield wipers are on. Oh, so he can't get boy. the ticket. And then the car well, I bet starts. You he tries. That's he tries. Funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is he trying to stick it in there, and then the yeah, wiper comes yeah. at him? Oh, and then cool. the, Holy shit! I got to see this. The oh. car starts moving. No. He gets caught on the wipers, and it takes him along for the ride. Oh God! But he says, "Stop the car." Yeah. So the guy says, well, "You asked for it." He jams on the brakes, jams right? Jams on the brakes. I knew it. I knew it. I said it. <laughs> yeah, you did. Eh? Inspector you did. Clouseau goes <laughs> flying. <laughs> oh God! That, that and then they great. think the manhole cover flipped, but it was just his wig coming off, <laughs> and there's wig glue all over the street. And he, I have put my wig on incorrectly. <laughs> I'm wearing the same hairdo I had in 1979. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking asshole. You think it's a rug? How could it not be a rug? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking rug. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's embroidered. <laughs> it's it's hair same. follicles. No, there's no follicles under that. No, no. there's no follicles. That's fucking Velcro. <laughs> Uh, well, the second clip in the trailer. Uh, Sam's helping a bit here. Can you, you fill in uh, the blanks here with the visuals? Sure. Here. here we go. But some things... I am now leaving Fonz. This is a bad idea. Never change. The legendary Pink Panther diamond has been stolen. What I tell you... All right, what's going on? Oh, there, come on now. Let's go back well, to Sam. He gets to the airport, <sighs> yeah. and there's a line that says, you're now leaving France. Uh -huh. So it shows you the line, and then in case you can't read or don't understand, he says, you are now leaving France. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this is a bad idea. Why is it a bad idea, Sam? Well, because all of a sudden, somebody's stolen the Pink Panther diamond uh. again. <laughs> then it goes back to him, and he says, what I tell you. Yeah. It Wait, was a bad idea. Because he's got to go God, he's got to save the diamond. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't you lock up the fucking diamond a little better at this point? Yeah. yeah. Enough of the stupid stolen. diamond. What are they doing? Who's going to buy the Pink Panther diamond? Already knows it. Right. Yeah. Right. Where do they oh, keep look. it? doesn't sound that valuable if you could just steal it all the time. Yeah. That website looks very um, extravagant. Yeah. Oh, they got Pink Panther games for Games you could play. Very interactive. Oh, it's a, a find the funny moment game. <laughs> which is like trying to find Waldo. Uh, <laughs> all right. Fucking dickhead well, he is. Well, let's see what happens next in the trailer for the Pink Panther movie, the mm -hmm. new one. Cool. What do you think this is? A tip recorder? No. It only looks like a tip recorder. It's actually a pen. <laughs> His moves are sharper. The secret oh, of I get it. Karate yeah. attack is the element of surprise. <laughs> Good one. Thank you. All right, this one comes with a quiz, Anthony, because uh, yeah. Sam writes, being the asshole he is, what? the inspector has hilarious gadgets and can teach children karate. Guess where this one's going? Yeah. I'm... Well, the, the tape recorder. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's why usually it's so you would funny. have a pen, just and 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 it would uh, be a tape recorder, mm. but it's disguised like a pen, so you could use it and tape record people. Why? It's on right now. On right now. What? Well, it's uh, <laughs> <All right. laughs> Jesus. what a coincidence, right, Jim? Oh, I swear to God, I, I think you're playing it. I didn't, I, I didn't realize you were playing it. We are. We are. We are playing it. He got all excited. <laughs> oh. that's your birthday. You got a sugar rush at this point. But yeah, the oh, tape recorder, a that. pen pops out of the tape recorder. Yeah. And that's just silly. It's like, you know, the tape recorder is bigger than the pen. Yeah, yeah that's that well, doesn't make any so. sense. You certainly would think. John Cleese is in it, huh? Yeah. Oh, this fucking oh. jerk. What a fucking oh, jerk. Oh, he fell down the chimneys. He's in a fireplace. What's going on? Well, you're going to give away the rest of the this trailer. Is crazy. Anyway. This is just insane. Oh. It's amazing how fucking bad he is at this. There it is, a tape recorder. And then... And then... It's a pen! Oh, wow! It's, 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 it's wow. Like Cohen. Yeah, it was, it was just a pen. Mm. And so here he's teaching the kids karate. 
He's saying you have to be very secretive. Oh, wow. The surprise was the guy sleeping knew it was coming. Of course he did. I tripped him up a little bit, Inspector Sam. Inspector Clouseau ends up on his hiney again. And that's a that's a bit of a surprise that he would end up on his hiney. Well, that's why they say the element of surprise. Why does he still have a job? Why hasn't he been shot? I, I couldn't agree more. <laughs> Speaking of Steve Martin. <laughs> Wow, this just looks fantastic. Oh, no, yeah. he's hanging out with the Pope. He's yeah. dressed like the Pope. And everyone's taking his picture. Oh, but no, he's he, falling yeah, off the balcony. He hangs the banner, saving his life. Oh, and then she no. And then the oh, nun faints. Why would happens. the nun faint? you got to hear something. Doesn't she have faith in God? you got to hear it to believe in it. All right, let's hear it. I did not until I heard they were making this. <laughs> <laughs> his challenges are greater. What is the password? I'm not a... I'm not a... No. Amara. I said hamburger. No, you said hamburger. Hamburger? And Arthur. Didn't I, Peter Sellers do that? Holy shit, Jenny? what the <laughs> fuck? Stop with the hamburger line. Didn't yeah. Peter Sellers do that brilliantly? No, Steve Martin did the hamburger in the first one, but Peter Sellers did the whole voice thing. That is what I said, Elum. That's what I mean. Yeah, yeah, of course yeah. he did. It was hilarious and believable. A bim. A bim. There is a bim. Mm. A bim. A bim. A bim. A bim. A bim. But the writer snuck the hamburger thing in because in the first movie it kind of went under the radar. But oh. he couldn't say hamburger in the first one. Oh. So for everyone who saw the first one, they go check out the second one, oh, and you know yeah. hamburger again. You're right. <laughs> Sam is the biggest <laughs> asshole I know. He's right he though. <laughs> he's right. When he's right, he's right. What can of I tell course. You? Yeah. Can't say hamburger. <laughs> he's we French. Saw that. You're a good. Sam, Crazy. You had a good day. You lawyered uh, Steve Crazy. big time, and now uh, you're giving us some some gold here with this. Steve movie. got fucking shown up oh, so man. bad. Oh yeah. With yeah, a little uh, assist from Travis on the uh, the records. Mm -hmm. Why does Sam only have one <laughs> when I specifically <laughs> told him to only get one? <laughs> Exactly. Yes. Well, if you can show me an email that proves that, okay, okay. No, then he didn't admit it after no, that. No. no. Yes. I admit it, but I won't apologize, yes. even though I owe you one. He still owes me one. It's now, a... granted, the email is incorrect, and it backs up what you said, but I wrote it down on scratch paper and gave it to a pigeon and instructed him to carry it to you. <laughs> what? <laughs> Well, Sam writes, uh, we got one more track to oh. play, and the beauty of Sam's writing, he writes, uh, the trailer ends with more super funny jokes and physical humor. But on February 6th, to better visualize the crime, I'm going to place myself in your position. He's showing the world. I am going out onto the balcony. Still the best man for the job. How's the case coming? Let me bring you up to speed. Aha! We know nothing. You are now up to speed. <laughs> the Pink Panther uh, 2. Uh, home. Ah! Surprise attack! Remember from the beginning of the trailer? Surprise yeah. attack, karate. Yeah. Why are there the kids two got kids? Him. He's teaching them karate. Why do there have to be <laughs> have fucking little, little kids? Precocious kids. It's what, cute. What, what is it with him and fucking children in movies, you <laughs> asshole? You want me to answer that? <laughs> God <laughs> almighty. <laughs> Did fucking Clouseau do that shit? No, him and a Chinese guy fucking Get almost the... killed each other. Yeah. They kept them around, too. That was a little weird. Yeah, I'm not saying that he didn't like to <laughs> fuck that smooth ass. I'm not saying Peter Sellers, when he wasn't done with Britt Eklund, wouldn't sneak in and fuck Kato's rump. <laughs> That's why he was pissed off all the time. <laughs> God damn, Steve Martin. There's got to be fucking kids in the... Got to be a couple... Of, yeah, the kids are doing karate. Isn't that oh. cute? Yeah.